What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all the rumors out there that are kind of speculating that there's a PS5 Pro kind of in the works. Um, this has been a lot of uh, some big news kind of floating around as of late. Uh, there's talks. There's talks of a lot of patents that Sony filed back in the summer of 2020 for a PS5 Pro. Uh, before we get into all the details and kind of talk about you know the rumors and things floating around out there, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a second to hit that subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content hit the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliate here on the channel gt racing uh, there's been a lot of speculation since the summer that uh, there would be a ps5 pro and it's kind of gained a little bit more traction as of late um, and i'm not sure exactly why i'm not sure if sony has kind of leaked some of this if people have found it there was no never really any details about exactly where all this information came from about the ps5 uh, pro patent now, it's pretty much kind of like gameplay. You know, we're, you're watching a little bit of Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay in the background today. I hope you enjoy it. But, of course, when it comes to Assassin's Creed or any other game in the world that's ever made, there's always things that are data mined, always things that are leaked that may or may not ever come to light. They may be in the game files, but they may never come to the game. And that's kind of how it goes with patents. I mean, Sony already has patents for like the next six or seven PlayStation consoles. I think they said they already had patents for like the PS6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you know, that kind of thing. I would assume, honestly, that there will be a PS5 Pro. I don't understand why there wouldn't be. There's already rumors of the, the PS5 Slim. It looks like they're going to kind of go in the same direction they did with the PS4. They're going to kind of make the same style models over time. But a lot of people are speculating, considering the Xbox Series X is technically the world's most powerful gaming console, that Sony is trying to do a little bit better than that. Which, I mean, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me why, because, you know, Xbox or, or Microsoft has said in the past they were kind of shocked that the uh, Xbox Series S and X did not sell more than they did kind of at the start, you know, the first month of, of release because they figured that it just being the world's strongest console kind of sell itself and so far what we know is the ps5 is still out sold the xbox series x in the couple first uh, or the first couple months now if you're unlucky like me you don't have either one of them because once again here in the u.s i cannot find either console anywhere since pretty much they were announced they've been about impossible to find and i have tried and tried and tried so it's been kind of ridiculous and it's also kind of ridiculous that a lot of this stuff is being leaked, that the PS5 Pro is going to be coming out eventually. I, I don't think it's going to be coming out anytime soon. But there is, like I said, a patent for the PS5 Pro that was filed by Sony back in July of 2020. And I'm assuming this is probably going to come out alongside probably with the, uh, the PS5 Slim model that has been also talked about as of late. Now, there's a lot of people saying, should they even purchase a ps5 now should they just wait for the pro since all this news has been released and I, I guess you could do that but if i had to guess i would say it's probably going to be a couple more years before we see a pro model uh like i said the new gen consoles have not been out that long you can't really find any anywhere i mean sony has reported that they're shutting down most of the ps4 model uh production uh, and i'm assuming they're shutting down the you know the production of all the models of the ps4 which is a bit early compared to past years when it comes to consoles most companies continue to make their old gen version for a while longer i'm assuming they have stopped making these stopped producing these because they're trying to ramp up ps5 production because of all the demand for it so i'm assuming if we're going to see a, a pro or a slim it's probably going to be another couple years i would say you know into 2023 2024 probably before we saw that but the one thing that is very interesting about all this is the PS5 patent apparently shows a uh, option to uh, that, that has two GPUs. That's going to be what the design is for the PS5 Pro. And if that is the case, this would be a very powerful console. This would be some extremely good graphics. Uh, how it would run, who knows, but that would be really, really nice. And I'm not sure about the price, of course. You know, we would never know that until it comes out. Um, it will be interesting to see because we know that console companies uh, do not make a lot of money off the consoles. They make money off other things, games, uh, their live services, that kind of stuff. So I'll, I'll be kind of interested to see what this would cost. Maybe the same price of the PS5 as of right now. That's kind of how the PS4 Pro uh, worked out. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Uh, do you believe this? I, I, like I said, I, I think it'll be something that happens in the future. Maybe not the near future, but probably the distant future. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And if you liked it, hit the like. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.